Recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA, it's The William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Junior Dancer. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Brett Erickson. And now, here he is. The Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. <laughs> uh oh, were you about to sneak? Yeah, I was. I got scared. I Hold it scared. in. What do people say? Pink elephant or something? Or purple elephant? And that's supposed to stop you from sneezing. Kazoon tight. That's Kazoon tight. That's what you say after. If you say don't sneeze, they never sneeze. Don't sneeze. Yeah. <laughs> Don't sneeze. Don't do it. You have done that to me before, and it pisses Don't me sneeze. off because I like sneezing. Don't do it. What is sneezing? A fourth of an orgasm? Is that what they say? Yeah. yeah they, like they call it the little death in, in France. La petite déjeuner. What? The sneeze? <laughs> is déjeuner death? I think it's like mustard or something. Yeah, yeah déjeuner sucks. <laughs> La petite Jojo. <laughs> <laughs> Little cabbage. <laughs> it's true. Was that really cabbage in French? Yeah, I think so. Jaw jaw. Casey's cool. sick today. Are you I'm gonna sick blow, today? I'm going to blow my nose. Oh, yeah, I think I have allergy. Erica does. Erica has allergies. Just Do you get It oh, makes yeah. your face hurt. You get them? Oh, yeah. Cedar fever? Yeah, it's nasty. Yeah, I, that... I forgot to take my allergy. Cedar fever is allergies? That's the... The tree they're we're all allergic to apparently. Yeah. And we, it's also like a sexual thing. There's like people who are sexually attracted to trees. Cedar fever. I'm kidding. That's like jungle fever. That's people attracted <laughs> to black ladies, isn't it? It's jungle, <laughs> That's fever. What jungle fever. Is, yeah. <laughs> It's a wild like term. Literal. Yeah, is that a real disease? One time I had like a middle school teacher, like all the kids, like there was a lot of interracial couples going on, like kids are just started dating and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was like, you guys really got jungle fever, huh? And I was like, this is just this is a little wild. Yeah. That's... <laughs> you guys got jungle fever, huh? It's like, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, you might get what in is trouble that, now. Middle... It's middle school. Yeah, that's when kids are all horned up. Kids are starting to date and things like that. Yeah. And you're really starting to notice that the other races are attractive for the first time. There you mm-hmm. go. Did you have some jungle fever? Was she talk were you one of the people she was talking I to? I never I've never uh I never had young love, no middle school girlfriend or anything like that. I always wanted one though. Yeah, me too. I didn't either. You went to an all boys school. You never you went to a- an all boys school. Yeah, it was hard to do it there. <laughs> it was a bunch of boys. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, some some of them probably like that. There were. I think there were a couple of guys that did like it. Yeah. But is Mike the wedding Montese, we're going to, is that from school? Yeah, we're going to a wedding in Seattle in October. Robert Wallace. And his husband. <laughs> and his Bobby husband. Wall. From school. Do they call him that? They call him Bobby Walls? Just Robert Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember being going to his house after like kindergarten and playing with Barbie dolls. Oh, my God, I love it. And it was fine. I played with him, but I remember thinking, this is a little strange, like not in a bad way, but just thinking, I don't. Yeah, we played with his sister's Barbie dolls. Oh, Oh. Robert. Yeah, Robert Wallace. Getting hitched. Everything's good to go. Bob Walls. Bobby Walls. Love Robert Wallace. Uh, And then I watched Edward Scissorhands that night and then had a massive nosebleed, so I never knew if that was associated somehow. It is. Yeah. Like the stress of Edward Scissorhands <laughs> called the so nosebleed. I don't things. know. It's a tough one to watch when you're younger. Yeah. I wish it's everyone creepy. would treat him like he's just one of the boys. He's I know. Bleeding. Yeah. Maybe. I know. And then he fucking but he gets really good at he fi- luckily he finds his way when he when he figures out he can do the trimming of the hedges. Yeah, now that he's great at haircuts, everyone wants to be his friends. And haircuts and that one lady wants to have sex with him. <laughs> Just yeah. how the world works. Because right? <laughs> no. he's That's really good at that. <clears throat> the haircuts. <laughs> okay. You have to try to find the sex. He's probably awful at sex. I know. How would he not be be cutting people? And also, he always gets on that waterbed. And I'm always like, stop. <laughs> You're so and dangerous. he goes down on the waterbed and it does all the holes. <laughs> Just get a regular mattress. <laughs> You're playing with fire. <laughs> yeah, you're playing with fire. Uh, his, his hands are scissors, but his, his peener is toenail clippers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like like one of the big ones. Yeah, one of the bigger ones. For the toenails, yeah. For like of, yeah. Toe. yeah, it's a big old Sometimes yellow you need toe. leverage. It's just two toenail clippers back to back, so it's like relatively wide. but <laughs> yeah. it's a... Back to back? That's kind of long. 
Yeah, it's pretty long, and <laughs> it's, I think it's too wide, too long. So, damn, prayed that length like that. Edward is packing it, and what a wonderful way to get into it's Valentine's Day today. Oh my gosh, and what a beautiful day today! It is beautiful. Sun's out. Feels good. Sun's, sun's out, out. Buns out. Buns out. Show sun's your out. Buns out. You have to show tishies. Your... Yep. Fuzzy, are you going to show us your tishy today? No, I'm not showing any tissue. You don't want to see any of that. <laughs> Trust me. What does that mean? Like my ass. What does it look like? It's hairy. No. Dark hair? Dark, I, no, it's blonde. blonde. It's blonde. <laughs> like a blonde ass. Genetic mutation. <laughs> <laughs> Looks totally bare. You're like five feet away. Damn, he's completely hairless. <laughs> it's actually blonde hairs. Fuzzy, thank you so much for being on the show today. Yeah, thank you for having me. Oh my gosh, and you and Casey, y'all are old buddies, aren't you? Old friends. Great friends, yeah. We've done a lot of a lot of mushing around out there. Yeah, Whoop. a lot of riffing, a lot of hanging. And a lot of mushing around probably in Wisconsin. Were y'all, what were y'all doing in Wisconsin together? Y'all opened up a business, didn't you? Yeah, yeah there was something. a small business. Was it? Such a long time ago, such a different time. TB Flyers? TB Flyers, yeah. yeah, TB Flyers. Yeah. Oh, it was like a thing off of the, the radio flyer. Thing. It was like a toilet paper dispenser with a radio flyer sp- twist to it. Yeah, I think kind toilet of. paper on the go. Yeah, yeah. it was sort of uh, like that. That it was like, sense. oh, did you forget some today? Sometimes you're in a hurry and you forget. And then you have to yell, and then you have like a string attached to the little radio flyer thing, and there's toilet paper on top. <laughs> yeah, exactly. so it'll Basically, it'll pull the card at about 200 or 300 yards behind you, so it's almost completely unseen until you want it to be. Mm-hmm. So you always have the toilet paper on you. It's always a arms. Two hundred yards behind you at yeah. all times. <laughs> it's, it's invisible until that until you need it though. So don't, it's not embarrassing. Don't try getting on an elevator or something with that because it's gonna get trapped. Yeah. Yeah, that's get... definitely a problem. We we recommend that you take the stairs. <laughs> and even that is a tall order because it <laughs> makes a lot of noise. Yeah. Really loud, but that's the way the people want it. I know that's how they want it. That's how they'll get it. TV flies. I stopped getting on elevators after Mission Impossible. Remember Emilio Estevez <laughs> getting crushed by the elevator and the spikes came down? Oh, no. Yeah. I'm, Very scary. Yeah, that's why I would never ride on top of the elevator. I went to uh, the Abu Dhabi, or uh, what's the name of it? The Burj Khalifa. And they're like obsessed with Tom Cruise there because of the Mission Impossible thing. There's this whole exhibit. Yeah, a Mission like, Impossible exhibit. Yeah, just that when you and he climbed it with the suction cup. There's nothing about the Burj Khalifa when you walk in. It's just literally Tom Cruise climbed this. It's <laughs> only Tom Cruise shit inside it's just of Tom the... Cruise shit. And you're in the elevator, and the guy goes Tom Cruise, and then he clicks the button, and you go really fast. <laughs> <laughs> he goes Tom Cruise. Hold on. <laughs> and you go up 160 floors and like. Five seconds, it's insane. Damn. Oh, man. Is that the tallest building? I think it was. It might have been passed recently. But it was It was when I was up there. Well, it's sweet they're giving the shouts out to Tom Cruise. <laughs> he needs it. He yeah. ne- what were you doing over there? Uh, we were laying over for a few days before we went to Pakistan for a, a wedding. Cool. Yeah. Pakistan? Yeah. Where's that? It's in Pakistan. <laughs> oh, it does. <laughs> no, Pakistan. Yeah, it is the same. It's thing. the capital of Pakistan. <laughs> it's the capital Pakistan. of Pakistan. It's the capital of Pakistan. No, it's the same thing. It's just how brown people say it. Is that where your family's from? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, they're from Lahore. Both parents. Cool. Pretty Whoa. Cool. That's Uh-oh. a good zoom in. Hit him with the zoom. Very cool. Yeah, I went to Wiz Khalifa. <laughs> the, the concert at Bonnaroo, and it was really fun. There you go. Did you actually see him? Yeah, I saw him, and we smoked a big blunt, and and then right after that, directly after that, was Elton John, and I had a terrible panic attack. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, it was brutal. <laughs> all my friends fell asleep around me in this big crowd. Like they're all like, hey, "Let's take a nap," and then more and more people came, so it became. They were all on the ground sleeping, and I was the only one standing. So there was like a 10-foot radius around me (laughs) where (laughs) it was just... And now there was no room for me to lay down and, like, join them. So I was just, like, standing and, like, panicking. There was, like, 
Fifteen thousand people there. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure everybody's like, "Who is this guy? Yeah. <laughs> How does he have these people lying yeah. down for him? Yes. Who is this powerful man?" Like, <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks like I just beat all their asses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who's next? <laughs> I just felt everyone staring at me for like two hours because I also couldn't leave because I was surrounded by like a. Yeah, that sounds horrible. A patch of hungry hippos sleeping on the ground. Very scary. That would be scary. Are there some music festivals in Pakistan? Yeah, I'm sure there are. I'm sure they got some good ones. Yeah. Do you go visit sometimes? No, I've only been a few times just for like never for vacation purposes. Just like we're going to go. Someone's getting married. We have to go. Cool. Yeah. Nice. They have cool street performers. I'll say that. What kind of street performers? They had like uh, a dude that had a basket of like cobras. <laughs> and he would he would pull out the cobras, but then he had a pet mongoose, and the mongoose would kill the cobra, and everyone would just throw money, go crazy. <laughs> everyone would go crazy, dude. I thought you were talking about the cobras like the uh, alcoholic beverages. <laughs> just king cobras. <laughs> he just had a thing of those things. He had a 12-pack of Mickey's. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey's ice beers. Oh, I miss mm. those Mickey's. They always had the fun things on the bottom of the caps. They Is that on Mike's Hard, Mickey's? No, Mickey's. It has it was like the purple little, I used to get the purple glass, bo- or no, the green glass yeah, bottles. Dark green. They were like 10%. Alcohol, like uh, malt malt beers, they were disgusting. But I know. if you drank a couple, they were good for you. I know, I know. I never had one. Well, don't do it. Don't even think about it. Yeah, don't even think about it. I won't. Okay. I won't even think about it. <laughs> Get the idea out of your head. Casey, make sure he doesn't, please. I mean, you can't. I'll, I'll follow up on it. I r- <laughs> probably won't do it. Especially not on Valentine's Day. Not on Valentine's Day. This yeah, don't do it on day. Valentine's. Um, Could you imagine if I had the opportunity to have one tonight somehow after not hearing about it at all? all yeah, this time you guys tell me don't do it. <laughs> yeah, not on Valentine's Day. It's gonna mess up your yeah, Valentine's Day. Mickey's. Mickey's. Oh yeah, the big bottles. Yeah, they're really strong. They taste like piss. They do. They're no old English. I always like the old English, forties. It always looked like a sophisticated bottle to me, and it said English on it, so it seemed sophisticated. So I drink that often, <laughs> taped to my hands with the Edward Forty hands. And we're back to scissor hands, we're aren't back. we? Yeah, we're back. Edward Forty hands. <laughs> right, right where we started. <laughs> that was a silly game. I like playing that back in the day. Yeah. So we were talking about secret doors. Uh, before this started, um, do you have any secret doors where you're currently living? No, no secret doors. Nothing like that. I'd like to. I'd like to. Uh, there might be, actually. I just don't know about them. They're secret. They're secret. I know. You got to look under your bed. Sometimes they're hidden under a bed. Sometimes they're behind clothes in a closet. Bookshelf. Pull a book. Bookshelf's classic. Wardrobe. Huh? Wardrobe. Yeah, wait. What the fuck? There's a full kitchenette in here? Yeah. I was just trying to read an R.L. Stein book. Hold on. There's a full... What? They got a fridge in here? <laughs> Who's been stalking this thing? Everything's fresh. Yeah. <laughs> Who uses that? Mickey's. Mickey's. It's full of Mickey's. Yum. Well, be careful. We need to give a shout out to your relative. What was his name again? A little JoJo? Lil Jojo. <laughs> Petit Jojo. Yeah, Lil Jojo. That's Shout my nephew. Jojo. And he actually, they live in a big house, so they probably have some uh, some secret doors in their place. They have a bunch of rooms they don't even use. Wow. Is there like for, is there stuff in the rooms or it's just empty? A few of them have stuff. A few of them is like, a, one of them is like an old desk. He got a new desk. <laughs> Throw away the desk. Who, and- Jojo? <laughs> yeah, Jojo got a new desk. <laughs> Just a, a new dad. He's, uh, he's a bit of a boss baby himself, Aww. and does cool. a lot. Of, he does a lot of work in there. I bet. Uh, he loves to vacuum. He's got one of his little, own little vacuum. His mom has OCD, and she vacuums every day. And then That's he true. he grabs his vacuum and vacuums with her. And now he's all he's all fucked up in the head. To be honest, he's a fucked up little kid. She's teaching him young. I love it. <laughs> uh, what else does she make him do? Lots of weird shit. He has like. Uh, he's good at chores. He's pretty good at chores. That's great. <laughs> For his age, he's pretty good. I'll How old is little JoJo? He's about 18 months. Oh, oh my so God, he's real young. young. <laughs> yeah, he just started walking. I'm into this kind oh. of parenting. <laughs> yeah. He has like a little thing that's got like a... First, you have to build it. It's like a little build section. And then it's like a, a mop and a broom and dustpan 
and, <laughs> and I showed him that you could knock it over. But, you know, because he's building it and he's grabbing it and he's pretending to mop like a good kid. And I'm like, no, that's not what you do, dude. You fucking knock the thing the over. The mom's going to get pissed at you. <laughs> oh, yeah. But he loves it now. Do I just knock it over? He knocks knock it the, over the mop. shit out of the mop. And <laughs> then he builds it again, though. So it's like a completion thing for him. Mm. Nice. Cool. Are you a big Legos guy still? No, I was a more of a Bionicles kid. But I never. Oh, we had had that conversation before. I can't believe Bionicles. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was really bad at making them, but I liked because uh, they would come in the tube and you would see, like, oh, this is what it's supposed to look like. Yeah. And you at least saw that. <laughs> but I was really bad. I was really bad at Legos. Wait, is that that l- literally looks like your cousin? That is a little like jo- your little JoJo. That's little JoJo right there. He has that same suit. He does. So he has a new desk, new suit, new desk, good new at suit, sweeping vacuum. and mopping. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody hire this kid. I know, he's we good. need to get his information on at the end of this. Somebody needs to hire this kid. He sounds like a real go getter, and <laughs> he can also throw a perfect spiral already. Really? Yeah, he can throw a perfect. Uh oh. What does mom teach him that? No, his dad. <laughs> oh, his dad. <laughs> he's a good learner. <laughs> That'd be funny if she just taught him everything. <laughs> <laughs> just taught him how to do everything. Bless you, Casey. Bless are you? you okay? Is it Cedar Fever? It's. I think it's Caesar Fever. <laughs> oh no! I think it's Caesar you got Salad, him. buddy. I'm not, oh. I'm not doing good. <laughs> not doing good. Yeah. Sick as a dog. Thick as a brick. Yep. <laughs> Cedar Fever. We're talking about. It sounds like that's somebody that likes to get get down and dirty with trees or something cedar yeah. cedar fever and we were saying because at one point fuzzy had jungle fever yeah <laughs> it was uh, <laughs> yeah, tr- yeah i know the teacher told the class yeah uh, yeah i was saying is that even something it sounds bad kind of is I don't that think not even yeah, something you should even say, say that. is that it's a, a bad it's a racial thing yeah. it's a super racial thing I can't believe your middle school teacher said everybody. Yeah, like she said there was a bunch of interracial couples. She was like, wow, it looks like everyone's just got jungle fever now. <laughs> she really said that. She said that. <laughs> yeah. God. Yeah, it, it, right. It sounds like you couldn't say that now, as you shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> but she was. I think she was. she meant it from a good place. It was just like one of those contextual things. But she was like, this is cool, like that kids are dating. <laughs> oh, she was happy about it. Yeah. Huh. Well, that's nice. It came from a nice place. Yeah, yeah it didn't come from a malicious place at all. Well, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. This is a Valentine's <laughs> lesson. You can find love in any mixture of people, which is a good thing. Mm-hmm. Fuzzy, who's the, who's the one woman that you've loved the most in your life? And why? <laughs> um, probably my mom. Oh. Yeah. It's a sweet answer. That. Happy yeah, Valentine's she's great. Day. My mom. Love day. This bitch Allie Lane broke my heart, but <laughs> we don't talk about her. <laughs> Shout out, Allie. When did Allie Lane break her heart? No, no. She was just a girl. She friend zoned me really bad back in high school. I was a friend zone kid. <laughs> well, whatever. They, that's that's what they were calling you, friend zone kid? That's what they said. Look at the friend zone freakazoid. <laughs> <laughs> so look at the friend zone, zone freakazoid. There he comes. Everyone wants to be his friend. What a weirdo. <laughs> it's kind of like a good quality to have. Everyone wants to be his <laughs> yeah, friend. All these, good quality. all these pretty girls keep asking him to hang out. What a loser. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope, Fuzzy, one of the things I love about being around you, we always flash one another the peace signs. Always. Sometimes I can be having a bad time or about to be going on stage, feel like I'm about to bomb. And if I see you, I know I can give you this and you give it back. You get it right back every time. Everything will be okay. I know. Yeah. It's just a little, you know? Yeah. Just tell your boys what's good. (laughs) Ooh, and that's a fun. Ooh, with the tongue out. Yeah. That's kind of a stinkier version of (laughs) it. It's a totally stinkier version. Eat piss, slime dick. <laughs> oh, sorry, that's a, little, that's a little dirty, but it's a little dirty. That was almost a double. Yeah. Oh, don't do double. <laughs> Double's really aggressive. I don't do double. Hold on, Casey. How's your tongue coming out of your mouth that side? <laughs> How do you do that? Yeah, it doesn't come out anywhere else. It just Ew. Out. <laughs> oh. What is that? Stinky slime ball. Is that unusual? <laughs> yeah, it's weird, man. It's not typical. I don't know. It's fine. It's I'm a fine. freak. You know, it's cool, though. Yeah. Well, no, you... How do you say? No, you... Yeah, you lost it now. You kind of not doing it like you were before a second ago. 
You're thinking about it too much. Yeah. <laughs> you, just, you can just, uh, you can just slide yeah. that little bitch out there. All right, let's relax, and I'll do it randomly yeah, yeah, yeah. in like five minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. so what's your mom's name? Let's give her a shout-out. Nellifer. Nellifer. Shout-out Nellifer. What does your mom think about you doing comedy stuff? Uh, she's supportive. She is extremely worried about me and my life right now. She's like... <laughs> Just crazy shit. I was just like talking with my friend. We were doing a podcast and we were talking about gins, which is just like evil spirits mm -hmm. from. And I was just, I just called her and I was like, Mom, what's up with that gin that you yeah. saw that one time? Yeah. And she was like, What are you doing? She's like, What's wrong with you? She was like really worried. Like, but I called her and asked her about gins and she was like, We got these bills. They're, we know you're not paying your bills. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> And you're calling me asking about some demonic force. We <laughs> know you haven't paid your car bill. Oh. No. <laughs> got sent Is everything okay? Oh. I have overactive tear ducts. I'm not crying. Okay. okay. Yeah, I cry all the time. You got scared. You got Wait. scared. You have overactive tear ducts? Real, real condition. Yeah. Seriously? You yeah, if I laugh, actor. I'll start telling I'll start to cry. I always thought I was just being real funny around you, and you were. I'm kidding. No. Uh, is that a real thing? I didn't know no, that. Yeah, was a I have thing. A, Casey. Would you vouch that I cry pretty often? Yeah, he's always crying. Yeah. <laughs> if I say even the slightest thing that's devilishly funny, he'll fucking cry his little eyes out. Cry his little bitch ass eyes out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't let your mom find out. Does she know? <laughs> yeah, she knows. Oh yeah, God. she knows. <laughs> How did she take that news? That I have overactive tear ducts. Yeah, I think she's the one who kind of told me. Oh, <laughs> she sat you down. <laughs> That's gonna be a hard life for you. You're not like other boys. <laughs> Girls are gonna want to be your friends. They're not gonna want to oh. date. <laughs> You're gonna have to accept that. <laughs> Stop. It's not true. And it's nice. It's nice when you're crying like that. Yeah, it gives you like a nice glisten. No, the, yeah, I have over attitude. It's my fucking thing to do, dude. Is that a genetic thing or how did that happen? I have overactive sweat glands as well. Oh. So I don't know exactly if it's. Do your hands get sweaty? Oh, my gosh. My hands are always <laughs> wet. You know, mine right now, mine looks sweatier than yours right now. Oh, yeah, you got some sweaty hands. I'm actually doing pretty good right now. I have really sweaty Dry hands. Dry as shit. I you get sweaty hands, too? Ever since I was a baby, my mom said, you had the wettest little stinkiest little feet and hands. Him, too. And Me I grew too. up to be the same way. Lam hands. I was laying on the Lam couch hands. a couple of nights ago looking at my feet, and I was seeing the sweat come up out of my feet yep. in real time. Yep. <laughs> it was, I was like, what? is? Am I dying? Why can I see the sweat pouring out of my feet right now? <laughs> I'm not Sounds like kidding. a hematoma or something. <laughs> yeah. I'm not yeah, I don't sure. think it's good. <laughs> yeah, it's just a weird place to sweat from solely just from the foot, too. <laughs> yeah, it was like the top of my feet. It was weird. The top of my feet? Yeah. <laughs> the top. Like yeah. the sides and top. You can see the little droplets. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what it was. I get hot and then I... <laughs> <laughs> my feet sweat. Well, it's uh, it, don't don't worry about your eyes. It'll be fine. Yeah, and no. your parents, it'll be all right. No, they're they know it's they support. They're very supportive, but they're worried, for sure. But they also have three other kids that have done really well for themselves. So it's what like I'm the, the baby, youngest? and I'm the baby. So it's like whatever happens here. Yeah, roll of the dice, let her rip, dude. Yeah, the pressure was on your oldest brother. <laughs> oh yeah, and he became a cop just like my dad was. So he's. Is he still a cop? Cool. He's still a cop. Yeah. So don't say anything weird about that. Yeah, I don't have anything to say weird about that. <laughs> I wouldn't understand. Mm -hmm. Why would you say that? No, I'm joking. But yeah, you sound, they're proud is the point I was trying to make. Cool, and they're going to continue to be proud. Don't worry about it. My, my family was all worried about me. I think they still are maybe a little, but there was a one point where there was real fear. Yeah. <laughs> there was real fear. Yeah. I'm looming in that in that territory right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's good. yeah. My my dad would send me links to like jobs at State Farm until like three months ago. <laughs> this looks pretty good. It's only a 30 minute commute. <laughs> it's just State oh, Farm. Oh, really? Yeah. It's always State Farm. He's really into me working at. 
What is that? Bar. Selling that's insurance that's or something yeah. for you? <laughs> or Lowe's? Yeah, like insurance stuff or insurance salesman. Yeah. Yeah. Do you Lowe's think is hiring? Pretty good benefits. <laughs> that that's my dad. I swear yeah. to God, that's my. It's been a little. It's been a little bit for me, but man, for the long. I also have almost ten years on here. It's been a long time of of them doing that. Oh my gosh. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Have you ever had a sales job? Like, did you no, ever? Like, I almost no, wondered never. if I could have done that. Obviously, I didn't. I'm happy I didn't. But I always wondered, oh, could I have sold some stuff? I don't know. Do you think you could have? I'm it seems like almost you could enough. have if you wanted I to. I don't know. I get scared. I don't know. I had a no. I had a, a desk job for like six months where I wrote newsletters and I would have to call clients. And it was always really, really awkward. Was it even over How the phone? It? Yeah. Yeah, I just can't. I don't I don't I get it. down like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was it. That was it. You had it brought it back. Yeah, right when I moved to LA, I was working for this scammy ass company where you had to, they were calling you up saying that you owed money to the IRS. So we were getting we were receiving calls, but we had already been calling the people. And it was just like, I think it was a total scam. And I had to wake up at like seven in the morning. So I'd be drunk as shit most of the time. <laughs> till almost every day. It was horrible. <laughs> and they eventually fired me because the guy was always listening in. And sometimes I would talk to the people and be like, you don't need to do this. Just talk to the guy. Or like he would catch me saying shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was such a weird little deal I had to do for a while. It was awful. Yeah, I sold uh, Dish Internet sales. I was a trainer, yeah. actually, for Dish, and I would train people to sell the dish. Really? Yeah. It was a good job. Mm-hmm. It was? Would they sell door-to-door? No, we were in a call center, and people would call, and they would inquire about internet and all of that, and then... I didn't know Dish work. had internet. I thought it was just the cable. No, internet's big for him. Yeah, it's actually cool. one of the biggest money makers for Dish. <laughs> yeah, it's a huge, <laughs> it's a huge <laughs> stream of income for them. Oh, for Dish? It's yeah, it's big. actually pretty big for Dish. <laughs> yeah, oh, Dish. I was thinking you were talking about, oh, Dish. Direct. Dish Direct. Uh-oh. Here What's co- going on? Here comes trouble. We have a Grant sighting in here. What's going on? Oh, and he's sick. Secret door. Yeah, he's coughing and like a motherfucker again. <laughs> his, right, his right arm was covered in, like, mummy wraps. I think something wrong. He got burned. I think so. What? What? Grant. What? What were those mummy wraps? Casey saw them. <laughs> Casey, he's Casey, on. mind your own business, man. What, hey! the, what hey! the heck? Not Grant. in front of Fuzzy. Yeah, not in front of Fuzzy, and not in front of me, and not in front of Erica. We're just <laughs> curious about your mummy wraps. What did you Stop burn your fucking them. arm? It's a skin condition. Oh. Don't worry about it. Yeah, but it's a skin condition. <laughs> yeah, it is a skin condition. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it is. <laughs> Yeah. Grant, I'm kidding. Okay, yeah, that's weird, though. I didn't know if it was a cosplay thing or... <laughs> yeah, man, he's being Mr. Invisible. <laughs> Are you being Mr. Invisible, Grant? Going to, going to Mummy Con. Yeah. Your Kevin Bacon's iteration of the Mummy Invisible Man. Was Kevin Bacon Invisible the Invisible Man? man? Yep. What? He wasn't the Mummy. What did he do? Just watch people, watch yeah, girls go to the bathroom? Yeah, was scary when I was a kid. I was, like, too scary. Yeah, he was a voyeur. If shit, if I was invisible, I'd watch all kinds of girls going to the bathroom. I'm kidding. Yeah. Is that what he did in the movie? That yeah, he just watched people go to the bathroom. That's <laughs> the what I picture. Stinkiest place to watch. <laughs> just hanging out. Everybody's shitting. <laughs> You're up at the bathroom counter. Such a good idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But in, but in the mirror, <laughs> but if you're in the mirror, they can see you, so they just see your butt. <laughs> just your fucking naked butt. The you're just completely nude. A naked butthole just looking. Uh. Just like looking at them, you're like, what is this? <laughs> what? Only your butthole is visible. <laughs> just your butt just looks like a floating like dot. A floating little thing. <laughs> it looks like refried, like a little pile of refried beans. Yeah, <laughs> floating around. <laughs> Or in my case, a little maybe spit out little Skittles, red Skittle. <laughs> red Skittle. Mine's kind of pink. What's your hole looking like down there? I haven't even seen it. I haven't seen that. What do you mean you haven't even seen it? I haven't seen it in years. You don't look in the mirror. I don't. I don't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> I might do a little twirl. I won't open it up though. You know. <laughs> you never think you have a hemorrhoid and then open up your butthole no, and look at it? Oh, no. I would know. Oh, I do that. Do you, Casey? 
Sometimes. Yeah, every now and again. Yeah, because I get hemorrhoids once every six months. Yeah, you feel them come out of your butt. <laughs> Stop pushing so hard. It's just my lifestyle. I, I tell William that his face gets all red. I'm like, you don't need to push. I know, that and hard. it's like, let me do my business. Get out of the bathroom in the first place. It's, yeah, you have the door open and you're talking. Get to out of the bathroom. Like laying on the bed and his face is turning red. And then she gets on my ass for how hard I'm pushing the doo doo out of my butthole. Sometimes I have to push the off. shit out of my butthole, and you're all up in my business. But you should see his face. He shouldn't be doing it like that. <laughs> <laughs> you're pushing. Is that like your pushing a little bit too hard buddy maybe i am well i've been drinking prune juice again nice, nice. Clear it kind of helps it's good for your tummy yeah kind of <laughs> <laughs> sometimes i still don't shed it for another a day or two i've been eating all this candy at night i have to he stop loves chocolate covered nuts i love chocolate oh yeah those are good I macadamia like what are those all. called almond uh, all goobers <laughs> Oh, he'd love that. <laughs> oh my gosh. You had goobers before? That's a real movie theater snack. Yeah, Dr. it Pepper is. Nut. You don't really see them anywhere else. M bunch of crunch. Bunch of crunch. What is bunch of crunch? I think it's just little rice cakes covered in chocolate sauce. Like Delicious. Rice Krispie treats, kind of? Yeah. But like freeze dried and then crushed up. Ooh. Ooh freeze dried. That <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> That's like astronaut fuel. Yeah. Isn't all the astronaut? <laughs> they just eat freeze dried stuff? They think so. They yeah. probably have that then. Well, it'd be nice for them to have a little snack, a little yeah. something while they're up. Yeah, somebody needs to send them some. Mm -hmm. I think there's people up there right now. Amazon? Put it on a slingshot, send it yeah. to the fucking moon. You could. Maybe. What about all with those enough, With enough willpower. With all the balloons floating. Yeah, there's, what is it, aliens? What do y'all think? Oh, yeah, wow. Is it aliens? I've been looking into it. What do, what do you, you think, think, Casey? Tell us. <clears throat> I've been looking into it. Uh, <laughs> what are your thoughts? Well, one of them was a balloon, but the other ones, they're saying, like, we don't know what these fucking things are. I know. What does that mean? They said that one is, like, a hexagon, and then <sighs> one is, like, uh, spherical, and they said that they don't know how they had propulsion. So I know. Like, I've read that as well. So what does that even mean? Yeah, what does it mean? Suspicious learn. Certainly suspicious learn. But I don't trust anything <laughs> from the governess. I just don't do it. Yeah, right. I, I hear you. I totally agree. And also, the, if it was aliens, don't you think if they were smart enough to get here, they would have something better than, like, metal-looking yeah. <laughs> yeah. hexagon? I don't know. It yeah. is totally weird. I'm not saying I don't think it is, but, like, wouldn't the aliens have better technology or something? I have no idea. I don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah, because in the past, like, it seems like they're able to phase in and out of being material objects. So it wouldn't seem like you'd be able to shoot it down with, like, a fighter jet, you know? Like well, that, one of the jets, yeah. the missile missed. The first missile missed. Oh, really? That's what I was hearing on the news yesterday. Yeah. Yikes. And that's boss, baby. He's just going up to the fucking orbit. <laughs> <laughs> they got him, didn't they? They got him. Yeah, somebody needs to send little JoJo up there to investigate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's the one to crack the code. I believe him. We'll send him as housekeeping. That would be funny if it really was aliens and they started asking for people's help. Like, it's really an end of the world type thing. And then your, your aunt or whoever it is is like, he sees the commercial and is like, oh, I know somebody and looks at little JoJo. <laughs> <laughs> and then they send somebody. little JoJo up there. <laughs> They're asking for help, like, cleaning their shit. Yeah. Their are so dirty. Please. <laughs> but they're so small. Who's going to fit? <laughs> and she looks down at little JoJo doing his sweeping. <laughs> <laughs> Vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> but they also like little hijinks, so he's perfect for the job. You know, just a little knocking over. He'll knock time. over <laughs> shit. So he'll clean it right back up. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, who is this kid? <laughs> he's so Wait, funny. What? He's so funny. <laughs> this kid's hilarious. <laughs> this kid rules. <laughs> <laughs> We want someone to clean, but we don't want them to take it too seriously. <laughs> yeah, the last guy, the last guy up here, he's like invisible. We just saw his butthole. <laughs> we finally discovered it was a little butthole. <laughs> that would be funny. The invisible man. That was the one thing they could just give him away. <laughs> Such an odd job for him to have. <laughs> for him to be invisible and be a cleaning guy. <laughs> just a broom. Yeah, you'd always have to you be just holding see a broom. You could do so much better. <laughs> <laughs> People get up to the spaceship, they're like, where are we? What is this? <laughs> are there ghosts? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at the technology. It does it by itself. <laughs> <laughs> guys pissed off. He's like, they don't even appreciate it. Yeah, it's like great technology, <laughs> but it's still just a broom and a dustpan. <laughs> <laughs> it's just invisible. 
Silly. Well, if it happens, we can maybe <laughs> talk to a little JoJo. Yeah. And hopefully it doesn't happen. I pray it isn't an end of the world type God of deal. Yeah. I don't think it is. Yeah, God willing and the creek don't rise. It's not going to be some <laughs> alien invasion. Yeah, I think it's just disinformation. They're just trying to lead us down a rabbit hole that we can't escape from. They're trying to get us away from the train disaster in Palestine, Ohio. Yeah. Did y'all see that? That looks yeah. horrible. No, I didn't see Chemical it. spill. Like a week ago. And all it's the fish are dying and all <laughs> the animals. Yeah, I saw some video from last night. The clouds, it was like these insane looking storm clouds, but it wasn't a storm. <laughs> it was just all of the chemicals. And I heard the company's paying everybody, offered everybody five hundred dollars oh. in like a thirty mile radius of the thing. What? Like some insanely low Whoa. amount of it's yeah, I don't know what you're We you, need Aaron Brockovich. Works. Yeah, where's Aaron Brockovich when you need her? Aaron Brockovich. She retired. She over it. She Aaron. dead, yeah. She's probably old now. She down with it. She dead. Don't say that. I, I mean, she looked know. old and pretty woman, and pretty woman was what? That's not late Aaron 80s? Brockovich. 30 years ago. Aaron Brockovich, that's a, that's a movie, right? Yes, based yeah. off of Aaron Brockovich, the lady. <laughs> 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 it's Aaron Brockovich. Yeah, she's 62 years old. She's, she's got, still alive and kicking. She got one foot in the grave. Come on, 62? <laughs> that's how you feel? <laughs> <laughs> Looking at you, 62. Looking old, lady. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron Brockovich, but yeah, we need her. There she is. Is that her? Yeah, Julia Roberts is. <laughs> Wait, she is? No way. She is. Aaron <laughs> Julia Roberts <laughs> is Aaron Brockovich the whole time. <laughs> the whole time. What? <laughs> like I know she played her. I didn't know that is her. Yeah, Julia Roberts is, is. so talented. <laughs> Who's that baby? Little Jojo. <laughs> it's a little little Jojo. Jojo. It's a little Jojo. <laughs> he just stays. Little. That baby's not in the movie at all, is it? Ooh, I hope I'm not. Has to be. Uh oh. Well, hold on. What's going on, Grant? Trouble in paradise. Like focus, he doesn't man. like. Yeah, it. trouble in paradise. One's in focus. One's not. Why do you have more mummy wraps on now? <laughs> Seriously, I see them now. Some are coming out of your pants, the bottom of your pants. I think that's like a fetish to like wrap yourself. Oh, I think that's just TB flyers. <laughs> Oh, what's oh, up, is that a... dude? <laughs> what's up? Are you brother? a TB Flyers guy? <laughs> TB Flyers. Oh. TB Flyers. He loves TB Flyers. That's awesome. Yeah, I think it's like a fed, like the human diaper. Like he wants his whole body they to like be a to diaper. Feel the pressure or something. Ooh, I watched a video one time of some lady getting fucking. She was in some vacuum seal <laughs> bag, and the dude fucking did the vacuum thing and that's opposite. It, right? And it sucked all the air out, and it was just her just stuck in some <laughs> little plastic bag. What? You don't survive that, do you? Yeah. She died. What? Uh, oh. Yeah, I shouldn't have watched it. Vacuum oh. sealed. <laughs> she got vacuum sealed. <laughs> Fuck. Ooh. But I think it was a sex thing. I think people can get weird like that. Oh. She died in the trash can, in the <laughs> trash bag. <laughs> yeah. No, she right, died on the bed. Track. I think it was on the bed. We watched some show with some lady. Who she <laughs> put her... Boyfriend in the luggage and flipped it yeah, over. Yeah, I saw that too. And she's that was recording awful. it. Like, I'm not letting you out. And, and he died did, in the he suitcase. Died in there, yeah. Oh, like a little YouTube prank? And he died? No, he she like meant to do it. She was something. like drunk she and then she fell asleep and then she woke up and he had died. Well, she wasn't planning on letting him out, but yeah, he died in there. And she threw him down the stairs, I think, in the yes. suitcase. Yes. I can't imagine. I get claustrophobic. I could only imagine yeah. being stuck in a tiny little fucking thing. <laughs> Well, with TB Flyers, you would always have that special string. You yeah. could pull the wagon up, and then it would open up the thing. <laughs> and from there, it's not going to change Wait, how did much, he get but... in the suitcase, though? He's <laughs> stupid ass. I would never get in a suitcase. You don't get in it. She asked her. So, yeah. He, yeah. If I'd been fighting with some woman, and then she, <laughs> like a day suitcase. later, she's like, get in, in the suitcase. Hell no. Like, bitch, you get in the suitcase. I'm not getting in a suitcase. <laughs> yeah, you go first. Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, well, we're so mad at each other. I might as well get in to escape for a second. What would this thought process Get some peace do? and quiet. Yeah, you'll unzip me, right? You won't leave me in here, right? You won't let me die in here, will you? Yikes. Yikes. Yeah, don't do that. But if you do, make sure you have PF flyers because it can with the string yes. coming open out of up. the bag. It can help open. Yeah, it can. You zip it up. Then you got toilet paper. Wrap her legs up really quick. Call 911. And enough toilet paper really can render someone immobile. If yeah. you have enough oh, yeah. toilet paper around the legs. 
Yeah, good luck getting out of that and have fun in prison lately. <laughs> yeah, yep. you're not going to do well in prison. Good luck fucking doing those, uh, what are the butt telephone books, ripping them in half? If you had been ripping them in half before, you're going to be, a, you're not going to be able to do that in prison. <laughs> <laughs> They're not as strong in prison. A lot of people think you get stronger in prison, you actually get weaker. And the books are much thicker, too. <laughs> <laughs> the books are much More thicker. numbers yeah. to call. <laughs> yeah, you're not ripping those things in half. <laughs> How do those people do that? Yeah, that shit is crazy. I've always I wondered. Know. I remember it always used to be on the religious channel growing up yeah, on like Saturdays. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, what do they do? Talk about Jesus and be like, and then just rip it open? Rip just, it? Just gives me strength. Just, yeah. just gives me the strength to work out every day. So I got really strong. <laughs> it's like yeah. Jesus born you that strong. Yeah. You weren't born that way. Yeah. Yeah. And that's yeah. actually proof that God is real if, the, if you can't do it and then you actually can when you do it through the power of jesus <laughs> totally that would be a yeah that'd be real proof mm -hmm. yeah that's pretty definitive pretty definitive what is going on it's probably that other jesus. podcast there was another podcast going on it was two women grant said they were talking about weird shit <laughs> <laughs> i don't even want to say it they're right there he was telling me about it yeah. <laughs> it was two older ladies they were talking about weird stuff <laughs> Yeah. What are they saying? Bye. Bye, bitch. Stay out of here. Saying Stay. bye. Sorry imagine, about that. Imagine saying bye for an hour and a half. William's joking. Here's a here's a picture of phone books. <laughs> <laughs> well, Grant, do they leave? Yes. No, I hear them. One of them is. One of them's still in there. Tell her to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> she sounds On so it. loud. She's messing this up. Grant, tell her we're going to have to start over. <laughs> if she doesn't shut okay. up. Okay. <laughs> tell her. Please. We got all day. Yeah, we have all day. I don't know if you do, but we do. So Y'all are doing great. I st oh, well, I wish you had told us what they were actually talking about because you didn't. <laughs> but what is our podcast about again? Uh, I don't know. Grant, Y'all don't know. Are you going to tell us no, or it's I like a privacy thing? Yeah, it's a privacy thing. Do you like them better than us? I mean, yeah. You know that. Bullshit. Fair enough. No. Look at what you're doing to Casey's tummy. I know. <laughs> I was like, She's yeah. hyperventilating or something. Grant, get in here, stat. Dude, I, I love y'all. He's you hyperventilating. <laughs> Casey, you're going to be okay. Casey, His breathe. tummy. Casey. Breathe. <laughs> breathe. He can't breathe. <laughs> no. Is, are you va you're vacuum sealing <laughs> him. Vacuum. Look at him. <laughs> Stop. Oh Casey, just, just breathe, Casey. Just breathe. Just yeah, breathe, that's what buddy. the lady looks like in the fucking vacuum seal bag. Yes. The thing was like moving, and then it stopped. I don't feel so good. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> 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 oh, no. Whew. Oh, thank God, <laughs> they're gone. I can sense yeah. they're gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the spirit is. The veil has been lifted. Casey, so what are you, do you have any Valentine's Day plans? Do, are you going to take Cat out anywhere? Are y'all going to do anything, or what's the game plan? We're going to special Asian dinner at a Chinese restaurant downtown. You cool. You accept that kind of food? Yes. Oh, yeah, chicken. <laughs> yeah, chicken food. There you go. <laughs> yeah, chicken food. Um, yeah, rice, <laughs> like rice? rice dinner. Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah, fried oh, rice. Yes. I always love some fried rice. Yeah. What'd you get her? Um, uh, <laughs> a bucket of flowers Aww. and a kiss on the cheek. Sweet. Very sweet. Uh, picture her cheeks right there. I can Ooh, see it. I <laughs> love the sound spicy. of that. It was cute. Very sweet. <laughs> Listen to that kiss. It's not the typical because I feel That's like a typical Valentine's is like kiss too. Yeah. I'm not healthy enough to kiss right now. I do. <laughs> Very sweet. I cough on her forehead and kiss her on the friggin' nape of her neck. Yeah. Everybody likes it. Ooh, we're here for it. Spicy, spicy. We love that. <laughs> yeah, we love that. We love Santa Claus. We Very love cool. him. We do around here. Uh, Fuzzy. So you don't have a date. Maybe next year you will have a date for Valentine's. Yeah, I'd love to to come back next year on Valentine's and hopefully have a date next time. Have you been and hollering you your date? Yeah. yeah. Have you been hollering at any young ladies, or that's not on your radar? That's not really on my radar. I've been hollering a bit. It's cool. not really on my radar though. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. What are you on dating apps or just hollering at people at like the store? 
Just the store. Yeah. Cool. Just what specifically up, the store. Mommy. Yeah. Mommy. <laughs> mommy. <laughs> Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Hey, mommy. <laughs> Hey, mommy, what's up? <laughs> Is that a freaking Walgreens? Hey, yeah. mommy. <laughs> Love it. I, yeah. I, 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 this is a great place to meet people. <laughs> yeah, Walmart. That's what you always hear. Like church or Walmart or grocery stores or pet Charlie's. Store. Or Charlie's. Oh, Charlie's had great chicks. I know. Charlie's? <laughs> oh, Charlie's. Did you ever... Yeah, it used to be O Charlie's. What is it? Just Charlie's now? I'm not sure. Is it or Charlie's? you don't even know. I don't even know. Damn. Charlie's? O Charlie's? They had a really wonderful good. potato salad slash salad yeah. bar. They had really warm um, bread rolls. Really good rolls. Oh, it's I like rolls. The, the very easable, easable, spreadable, but us. Oh, easable, spreadable. E easable, spreadable O Charlie's. O Charlie's. Oh. Yeah. My grandfather would always call it O Charlie's. <laughs> I don't know why. On purpose? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Charlie's. Oh, Charlie's. He sent me. I got that stupid, the Taz tattoo, and now I have this sweet Taz shirt Erica got me. But I texted, my mom told me that my grandfather liked the Tasmanian devil. <laughs> and so I texted my grandfather. I was like, what do you like, Taz? And he sent me back this picture. Of a little stuffed animal. I wish. It's like not, set. It's, the, it's a funny it's picture. It's just like stuff in a little Taz stuffed animal in the corner. Like in the corner. Just to show him funny... like, yeah, I have a Taz stuffed animal. I love him. But and I never But stuff. yeah, it's just stuff. And then... <laughs> yeah. It's not all just the Taz. It's not the focus of the picture. Not at all. It's like the corner. <laughs> it's not even the second one. <laughs> yeah, I know. I need to respond. I still haven't responded. You didn't say cool? No. It's been like three weeks. Dang. <laughs> you didn't even say cool. I left him on red. Damn. I'm kidding. I didn't mean to. And that what they? I just realized what that meant. So that looks like that's if you looked at the text that says red. Mm -hmm. So people don't like that because that means you looked at it but you didn't respond. Yeah. Can't be doing that. People Very, get angry. Very mean. Well, I'm sorry, people. He actually always used to act like a werewolf. He'd come over sometimes and he'd start howling. Like, kind of later on in the night, and then I always, always go run and hide in the bathroom. I always believed that he was really turning into a wolf. It scared me. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, it was kind of little. Peepaw. There's Taz. There's Tasmanian Devil. Ooh. Oh, is that what he's based off of? Yeah, yeah the Taz werewolf. is based off of werewolf. werewolf. Oh, okay. Damn. Yeah, mm -hmm. Taz is Very in the world. <laughs> like pretty similar. Yeah, look. Pretty spooky, yeah. He's part of the whole Dracula that's what, that's mommy cool. universe, I think yeah. Taz is. He's one of the oh, universal he, yeah. monsters. Yeah. Transylvania? He's a Transylvania? Mm -hmm. Is he Transylvania or? Yeah. No, he's Tasmanian. It's not they neighbor each other. Yeah, they share a border. Yeah, I think if you look at the map, it's right next to <laughs> Belarus and. Yeah, Belarus. Yeah. yeah. Belarus is over there. Georgia. Angel City. Angel mm -hmm. City. <laughs> Angel City. Yeah. What's Angel City? <laughs> Angel yeah, Angel. City, baby. <laughs> it's yeah, it's that. Do we got a list? Uh, I'll tell you what. Who doesn't belong in Angel City? Oh. Who? Who's that? No, uh, I'm. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you who doesn't belong in damn Angel City. Who probably belongs in Prison City? Who? The top five worst young adults. <laughs> Whoa, this Whoa. is already spicy. Talking yeah. Tasmanian devil, talking young, bad young adults. Whoa. Young adults. You're not going to want to end up at O'Charlie's with any of these fuck bitches. <laughs> any of these bitches. <laughs> no Charlie's. They're assholes and rude. Grant, you ready for this shit? Ready. <clears throat> Number one, Tyler Rotten. <laughs> He sounds nasty <laughs> right <laughs> off the bat. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't trust that guy based on name. Yeah, mm -mm. Tyler Rotten, aka the West Cleveland Strangler, <laughs> <laughs> born to negligent parents on the Upper East Side. Tyler Rotten was born to live up to his name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By age five, he burned all the bridges in every major industry. By age ten. He sent a, a bucket of toads to everyone he knew. So this is like the opposite of That's little him. JoJo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is T-Rot. That's Ty Rotten. That's Ty Ty Rotten. You know where his parents messed up? They didn't send him a scared straight. <sighs> he yeah, probably would have scared thing. those people. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Looking like that, scared them straight. And his parents really named him Tyler Rotten? Yeah, and he was born on the Upper East Side. He was <laughs> it's not the best place to grow up. No. 
Yeah, it'd so. be kind of wealthier people around there and probably a lot of not a lot of parental supervision and just he was a latchkey kid and that's yeah. just how kids were back then. The worst part is he's super smart. Yeah. He's devilishly intelligent. Brilliant. Mm-hmm. Borderline brilliant. Borderline. Borderline, Borderline brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad he didn't use his powers for good. Right. Instead of mailing all those toads to the cast of Wednesday Adams on Netflix. Really? That's stalk. That's all borderline stalker behavior. Borderline. <laughs> borderline. Jenna Ortega. Jenna Ortega. Everyone else too. That's borderline Dad. illegal. Michael <laughs> Fester. <laughs> <Tricky> illegal. <laughs> and even Fester. Yeah. And the toads were sick too. They weren't even healthy. Yeah, and Fester's sick too right now. Yeah, you better believe it. Probably from the toad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really the rotten guy did that shit. Tyler mm-hmm. Rotten. Was he really strangling people? Is that why he got the the name the Strangler? Yeah, Damn. Well, something. That... <laughs> Damn. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Tyler, please <laughs> reconsider. Yeah, he's Reaching number me. one. Number two might scare your little pants off even quicker. <sighs> number two, <sighs> Princeton Fitzpatrick. Princeton, Princeton Fitzpatrick. Patrick. <laughs> Oh, no. Throw it up, Grant. Let him take a little peek at this. I, I have no idea which one's Prince. He's the, he's, <laughs> you know which one he is. He's the bully. The bully. He's the oh, bully. Okay. Sorry. Put up Princeton. <laughs> you can kind of tell from the name which one they would be. Like that's obviously Tyler Rotten. Totally. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> With his headphones on, his not listening lipstick. to anybody. Yeah. Doing the devil horns. There yeah. we go. That's Princeton Fitzpatrick. <laughs> oh, yeah. You didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. Not literally the game, the bully. <laughs> it might be. But there's no way to tell with this bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Okay. The, Princeton probably makes me madder than most do. Seriously? Oh, no. Tell us. What if do you I, do? If I had three words for Princeton, it would be do not trust. Princeton Fitzpatrick got me to invest my entire life savings into Tupperware. (laughs) Then then he invited me over to watch the World Cup and he stole my car. What? What? Yeah. And it's not like it's the 1970s anymore. Why is he telling people to invest in fucking Tupperware? Yeah, he must have known something. He was, I think he was shorting stocks. Yeah, he must have known it was about to tank. (laughs) Yeah. He God, has some he, sort of insider yeah. knowledge. Yeah, his portfolio is probably <laughs> devastated by now. Yeah, or he's really rich. Maybe he figured it out. He might have shorted just enough of calls and and bets on the on the stocks. I can't believe the Band Aid Company. Yep, calls and bets. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't <it? laughs> I don't know. Is it a Tupperware's a dying business? I lost my money virtually overnight. Damn. Casey, don't do that again, please. He man. invited me over to watch the World Cup, and then he took your car. <laughs> he took my car, and I had to walk home. The Stingray. The Stingray. Gosh. Oh no. Yeah. And it's my uncle's. It was on loan. <laughs> it was on loan. Was your on uncle loan was loaning that car to you, yeah. and now he has it. Yeah. Now, and he won't, I know exactly where he is, but I'm too scared to go get it. Oh yeah, I would mm. be too. Yeah, obviously, he's got to look like <laughs> some sort yeah, of. Yeah, look weapon. at him. He looks like a punk. <laughs> he, like he has eczema or something. Something's wrong. And, it's a shock and I hate chasing. to say it, but it looks like he's a redheaded person. He is. Yeah. I'm sorry. Sometimes redheaded people can be mean. Sometimes it can be a. It can be bad. He's for sure a redhead. Example one. Yeah. Fucking Prince and Fitzpatrick. Do you know him? I'd heard of him before. I knew he was doing the short selling stuff with us. <laughs> I saw him on the Kramer. Mr. Kramer show on MSNBC or whatever, Kramer. the guy who does the stocks. I saw oh, him on Mr. Kramer. Mr. Kramer. Mr. Kramer. Yeah, I saw him on Mr. Kramer show on MSNBC. <laughs> Mr. Kramer loved him, though. Yeah, he was really into him. He and, man, he and Mr. Kramer were like, like, bedtime buddies. Thick as thieves. <laughs> thick, thick as thieves. They were bedtime boys, for sure. It seemed like it. But. Number three. Uh-uh. This one... Probably won't come as a surprise for someone like you guys. Number two. Rude. <laughs> Rude. Yeah. Hold on. That that Valentine's Day. Dude. <laughs> Number three, Molly Fitzpatrick. Oh, huh? Princeton. oh. Princeton's twin sister. <laughs> oh, no. Throw her up, Grant. She's one of the twins. <laughs> <laughs> Grant is a picture of the twin. 
Yeah, <laughs> the one on the right is Molly. The one on the right. <laughs> right, the twin of the other guy. Yes, she's Who's a twin of him. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Yeah, I, they have, always look, I have no fucking. They clue. always look different when it's a boy girl. Yeah, they look totally different. <laughs> she looks a little older, but <laughs> yeah. How can Why you be an identical twin if one is a boy and one is a girl? <laughs> and people try to always say that. I, I don't know. get it. Does this make a little more sense for you? <laughs> yeah, I yep. see it. <laughs> The sun striking training. resemblance. It is. Well, you know what they say: bad things comes in twos. Yeah. And, <laughs> and while the she got me also to invest all my fucking money into Tupperware, mm. like a week later. Oh, <laughs> seriously, Casey. I made, I hedged, I hedged some bets, and I took a couple loans out from a couple close friends, and I said, I can, I can make this back. I can probably pay off Princeton to get back the stinger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nope. It was fucking Molly Fitzpatrick, and she was. Why do they have different last names? She was dressed as a bank loan. They'd have the same. She was dressed oh, okay, as okay. a bank <laughs> loan. She was as, God, as a fucking bank loan. They're nasty. They're Jeez. nasty brothers and sisters. How did they brother convince and you? Just they had a bunch of paperwork. Mm. So it's that's just like convincing. Casey signed this stuff. <laughs> yeah, would you want proper to documents this? and stuff? We love your signature. That's how they know we love it. We love your signature. <laughs> you you have such good handwriting. Would you mind signing all these papers? Well, I guess I don't have anything yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm here anyway. <laughs> I don't have a job or any money or anything. Mind signing <laughs> here, here, and here. <laughs> well, that's totally screwed up. So if anybody's watching this though, and anybody comes around with the Tupperware thing, just know it's a dying industry. It's not. And don't sign papers unless your lawyer looks at it first. Just... Yeah. Yeah, don't be signing shit willy nilly, or you could end up losing the Uncle Stinger. Stingray, Casey, I pray you can get that thing back. I know. If so I don't cool. have it back by, I mean, I think he's still out of town. I think he's in, he's still in Boca, but <laughs> oh, if, cool. If, <laughs> if, 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 uh, as long as I get it back by probably mid spring break, I think's when he's coming back. I should be okay. Ooh, that's a long, We're nice trip he's you. on. Yeah. yeah, he's been there for a couple months. Has he been doing good? This all happened around Christmas time. Oh yeah, he's God. doing okay. He's down there with his new girlfriend, Savina. Savina. Uh, I met her. We met her. Remember at Romano's Macaroni Grill that one night? Yeah. Pretty little she Russian. Was devious. Thing. She was devious. She was a pretty bread, little though. Russian yeah. thing, but yeah. devious. She said don't she didn't even want the entree. Do you remember that was kind of weird? She said, I'll just eat the bread. It's like, bitch. Yeah, that's what? weird. Yeah. It's like if you're watching your weight. You, why, why would you fill you up eat, on yeah, bread? Yeah, why would you even fill up on Yeah, bread? why are you weird. eating the crayons? She said it was just weird. Yeah, thing that she was <laughs> I know, that's the place you could color <laughs> yeah, on Yeah, that's table. where you can, she was eating, she ate like a, a yellow or blue one or something. It was, yeah, we had to stop her from eating the other ones. We had to grab both her hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't. It's like, Don't. How old is this bitch? <laughs> no. Yeah. Drawing only. Look at my lips. Drawing only. only. And then she drew herself eating the crayons. Yeah, she was obsessed with it. It was weird. Because she literally can't hear, so you have to talk to her like that. You have to make sure she's reading your lips. Yeah. Draw only. Draw only. No eat. <laughs> Savina. No come. <laughs> no come. Savina. 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 Yeah, you have to say Savina. <laughs> <laughs> Then go to Romano's with them. But that's good. They're doing better occasions. Yeah, I'm really Down in Boca, yeah, I mean, how could you not be doing good down there? Yeah. Yeah. That's basically Disneyland for uh, people in their mid-60s. Yep. <laughs> so, pretty cool. These last two, I'm just going to burn right through them back right. to back. Number four and five, Emily Slash and Mark. Shoot first, ask questions later, McKinney. Oh, man. So, they're dangerous. They they're sound dangerous. Very dangerous. That's Emily Slash. She's a receptionist. And she's willing to do anything to get ahead in the workplace. I can tell. Look at how busy she is in the picture. <laughs> Very busy. And she's pretty busy. Look at that. What did y'all just say? What she's doing some sort of quantum physics in the back. Yeah. <laughs> she's she's got a work. lot on her plate. She's like, it's kind of like a goodwill hunting thing. Like she'll walk by yeah. and solve equations just randomly. And she rubs it in your face like, oh, I guess I was smart enough to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, could, she definitely could do that. Let me get back to taking these messages for you dumbass. Because <laughs> that's definitely yeah. the best way to spend my time, isn't it? Because I'm <laughs> able to do quad quadratics like that. <laughs> <laughs> she's real sassy about yeah, it. Yeah, she rubs it in your face like a yeah, a stink bug on the Fourth of July. Ooh, smelly. It's <laughs> <laughs> really a smelly. Day for them. <laughs> so hot. Summer solstice. So hot. And then the fireworks it activates it. Yo, yep. yeah, they get scared. It's a 
<laughs> defense mechanism. It's like and, lightning bugs. Then <laughs> that's Mark McKinney. As you can see, troubled to say the least. Yeah. Um, he, he used to be my old college roommate till he ate me. He tricked me into eating a whole bag of communion wafers in front of my crush. Bullshit. So yeah. I'll dry your mouth up. Yeah, no shit. And then... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you know, approach with caution. Those two are currently on the lam. If you see them, please report them to the FBI. Damn. Okay. And I wish there was even a better picture. I know that's a weird, that's Can't scary really yeah, picture of the guy. Out, but... Zero yeah. features. Like... He doesn't look. He's not doing good but, in that picture. Right, because everyone else seems to have some sort of semblance of professionalism. Yeah. And then he's just out there. Hey, except except for maybe Princeton Fitzpatrick. I mean, he looks like he might have been in, like, a fist fight or something. Yeah, he's something's wrong with his face. Something's wrong with his Sun fingers. Burns. Something's yeah, wrong his with all his shit. Weird. Well, you know. Well, there it is. Well, Casey, thanks for letting us know about those people. My God, that's a scary bunch. And yeah, you don't want to see them at O'Charlie's tonight if you happen to be having a little Valentine's Day thing. Definitely not. Yeah. Thank you, Casey. Buys against it. No problem. Here to help. And I just hope for their swift capture and their brought to justice. I hope so, too. Maybe we'll see someone Judge Millian in the coming weeks or months or whatever, because I want to see what Judge Millian has to say to these scoundrels. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. A fair judge. Taking them to small claims. Honest. Yeah, if you happen to catch one, just take them to small claims. Look up at the website for Judge Millian. Figure out how to get them on Judge Millian, because she'll figure them out. Yeah, yeah, I should have said I only lost like 80 bucks on the Tupperware, but at the time it was like everything I had. Yeah. It was your whole, de- it was it was the whole my, portfolio. It's like every, literally every, my whole portfolio. That's f- screwed up. People yeah. prey on other people that way. I mean, it's totally messed up in the Tupperware thing. I didn't even get any Tupperware. They were like, we'll, it oh, been nice we'll to give have. you some. Yeah, we'll give you some in a little bit. Like, when? I should have asked when. It is strong, though. Do you all remember in Napoleon Dynamite where he's where the guy tries to rip it and he can't? The Tupperware bowl. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's also good. one of my favorite scenes in that movie, where the guy tries to that's... tear open the Tupperware. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, it's real powerful, uh, but not in jail. Just remember that as well. Don't don't go to jail thinking you're going to get stronger because you're not. Right. It's a not scam. Not enough vitamin D. Brutal. It's a scam. Mm-hmm. Total scam. Well, Fuzzy, thanks so much <laughs> for being on the show today. Here, you got to get rid of some of these. We have some dark chocolate covered <laughs> almonds awesome. for you today. Yo, thank you so much. Do you like those? I do. I actually really like these. These are the things that like I'll never buy, but anytime they're there, I really like enjoy them. So now to have my own means a lot. Be careful. I, I swear I was reading a news article yesterday where they have been fighting heavy metals in the dark chocolate covered almonds. To take I a, pray curse, to God a that's cursory bite and then a big bite. So mm-hmm. bite soft, yep. bite hard. And then bite mm. hard. Okay, got you. Soft hard. Or suck on it. William would suggest sucking on it. That's how he does it. Do you suck on him? He'll be like, guess what I have in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be a little almond. Yeah. Yeah, I got you on it. <laughs> yeah, I'll suck on cheese puffs and stuff like that. I like to melt the cheese yeah, puffs yeah. in my mouth. Yeah. So I'll do a little bit of that. I love that. Try it out. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe you'll hate it. Yeah, thank you. Let us know. Let yeah. Us know. Thank you for having me. Very, very cool. <laughs> cool. Well, sounds good. Well, that is it. Happy Valentine's Day, Casey. Any final words? I love you, I miss you, and I want to see you again soon. Aww. That's a sweet Valentine's Day message. It is very sweet. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of The William Montgomery Show. Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to the William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737-471-1098. Never miss an episode of The William Montgomery Show by subscribing to The William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and see him live at the Vulcan Gas Company in Austin, Texas every Monday night. 
For more of me, Brett Erickson, check out Issues with Andy on Patreon. Find me on Twitter and Instagram at IBrettMyPants. This episode of The William Montgomery Show was recorded at Permanent Record Studios right here in the heart of Austin. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery and Brett Erickson. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh, who the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.